What is up? ESY CTE 2020. We're here to do our first steps in constructing our birdhouses. By now you've done your unboxing videos and they've been posted to Google Classroom. So now we're gonna lay out our birdhouses and make sure we have all the pieces facing in the right direction before we put them together. This will ensure that we don't put anything on backwards. Mr. Moore, take it away. Thank you, Mr. McCoy. <laughs> Alright everyone, there are a few tips you should pay attention to that will make assembling your kit much easier. First, all of the pieces have letters that will be on the inside of the birdhouse. So when you lay your kit out, make sure that all your letters are facing in. Some pieces you need to pay very specific attention to. For example, the front, which is labeled F has a slight angle on it. It's shaped just like this, okay? You want the low side of the angle facing out. Another trick is you'll see your four screw holes on your front piece. So, let's start laying the kit out. We have our base on the bottom labeled B. We take our front piece labeled F with our screw holes facing out and we put it on the front of the kit. The sides, labeled S, have a much more aggressive angle, much easier to see. We want the low end of the angle touching the front of the birdhouse piece. And you're gonna do that for both sides. Again, making the low part of the angle facing front, And then finally, your rear place, I'm sorry, your rear piece labeled R also has a very slight angle. You want the high point of the angle at the very rear of the birdhouse. Once you put all your pieces together, make sure that they fit nice and tight. Finally, you'll grab the top now labeled T, and you'll make sure that the screw holes are facing up, and you'll gently place the piece on the top. One more tip, you should feel your fingers should be able to fit underneath with equal spacing on each side of the birdhouse. This creates what's called a shadow line. And that is your rough layout.